Basim, over here. <laughs> you seem shorter than I remembered, Basim. <laughs> and you still have not grown a single digit, Rebecca. No, we're not here as enemies. No, but we never held back on the training ground. Roshan tells me you are local here. In a manner of speaking, I lived here a time before I left for Anbar. Mm. This place is no different from the places I'm used to. The rich wipe their shit with the clothes of the poor. That is the Karch I remember. It is your Karch no longer. Rebecca has uncovered a district tainted by corruption. Stronger than usual. Rumors of harassment from officials, and goods being controlled and seized. We think someone here has a hold over the district. Let me guess. The Order. A grand auction is happening. The Dairat Al-Mal. An annual show of silk robes comparing their golden spoons. No surprise, but this event is invite only. There is a high chance one of our targets will attend. So, gain entry into the auction and find the one behind this. Mumtaz, you catch on quick. Finding it hard to keep up? There might be clues. It betrays trouble to the root. I can show you where they are brewing. Join me outside when you're ready. Master. Are you ready, Basim? Karh awaits. Ready. Let us move. Follow me. Ever thought you would return here? To Karh? No. Much of my childhood was spent along these streets. Finding friendship with rats and roaches. Some memories are good. Most are bitter. Memories only serve to distract us. The Order has spread their influence into every crack in the city. Turning Baghdad into their farm. That will change. Responsibility lies heavy on our shoulders. The Order's blight falls over Karh. And we are the only ones who can cure it. How has Rebecca been adjusting to Karh? She does not like the politics, but she has to fulfill her duty. Karh is an acquired taste. Business is at each other's throats. The obsession over money. Huh. Perfume. People here are happy to be lost in their own paradise. A paradise that can only be afforded by the wealthy, and often corrupted. Come, we're nearly there. Welcome back to Karh. <sighs> Spice still clings to the air. What was it like? The first time you took a life. I barely recall. It was a man I used to know well. Before all of this. Before the Hidden Ones. You do not remember? My memories are buried next to him. I refuse to let his death hunt me. The way his breath hunted me when he was alive. I won't let the past define me. This is why I now consider myself the daughter of no one. If we do not quell the storm within us while awake, it takes us in our dreams. Like with you, and your genie.
No. The souk. Like Rebecca said, some guards came through recently, oh. breaking bottles, smashing crates. What caused this aggression? Let's find out. I've also heard they're seizing foreign goods, mostly from the East Road. The East Road? I believe I know someone who can help. It has been an age. Hopefully he is still around. I would be happy to see him again. Do not let nostalgia cloud reality, Basim. I will not. I know nothing stays the same. It has been some time. I wonder what has changed around here. Maybe I could first pay an old friend a visit. Trust me, my rogues from Tooth are the best in Baghdad. I will even give you an Lies! You will put... What fresh brew do you have for me today, Kong? No brew until Luca returns my crate. But if you have come to buy tea, I have many recommendations. <laughs> Kong! It is me, Basim. Huh. Nisaseya? Who? Basim. I am not an idiot. Everyone claims to be someone I know. Answer me this. What tea did my Basim like? Ginger with some turmeric. Wrong! Basim does not like tea. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Basim! Little Finch! Look at you all dressed up! Come, come, follow me to my stall. Away from this terrible man! Oh. So, little Finch, what have you been up to, huh? So many years. Just here and there. I had to leave Baghdad for a while. Ah, youth. What about yourself, Com? What have you been doing these years? <laughs> doing what I do best, making coin. Although with some difficulty of late. The guards are on high alert. And that Greek merchant has taken it in his stride to report me at every chance. I know it in my ripe old bones that he waits for me to die of starvation. Or worse, go out of business. Ah, but here you are, little Finch. Remember the dazzling duo we used to be? How about helping a friend out for old times? Ah, just like old times. But I need to speak with you after this. There is something I need as well. Of course! After you fetch my confiscated crate of beautiful leaves. It must be over there, where the guards are. Go forth! Fine. But I have something to ask of you after this. Yes, yes, of course. Don't want you here.
You spider. Hey, what? Hey, yeah. This must be Kong's crate of tea leaves. Looks like this crate is still intact. Kong will be pleased. <laughs> My liege, praise be to you, little Finch. Where shall I put it? Come, come, put it here. What are you doing? The crate does not belong there. Pick it up. What are you doing? The crate does not belong there. Pick it up. Basim delivers once again. Many thanks, little Finch. Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China. Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves. I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kah first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Da'irat al-Mal. Yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, little Finch? Why not share it with me? We work so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my basm. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Kah is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense, I do not know. But they spoil my business, that I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse, somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. Greece, India, 
Anything out of Baghdad. I want to keep my head, I better be sure to check that. It was your time. strongly worded letter to the harbor master. He let a hairpin slip through their fingers, and someone is not happy. There is a scent on this letter, and a familiar symbol. El Kululu. Looks like the harbor master is part of the order.
the Da'irat al-Mal, ceramics, exotic wares, and rare goods, all on display. Javid is in trouble. Maybe I can be the next harbor master. Rather you than me. Whose head do you think will roll next? Person looks suspicious. I should investigate. Marha, have these tea leaves from the east are worth more coin than my. A list of exotic foreign goods seized, most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things, vases, and some expensive tea leaves. This should be what Kong needs. Instructions to search any and all foreign goods for an artifact. An ancient Chinese hairpin, specifically. This all starts at the harbor. The harbor master has set up this blockade for foreign wares, especially for ancient artifacts from the east. There is nothing more here. The harbor master is waiting. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just me. Ah, the little finch returns to the nest. Empty handle? <laughs> it is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Ha! Huh. I never doubted you for a second. Come, let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch, when we last met, you were a street thief. Now, I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Someone influential is looking for the hairpin, but let it slip. Now the only chance they have is at the grand auction. Hmm. Nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the bureau. Well met. Have you devised any new tool? Take a look. Seen enough? I would like to borrow. Nothing else? Thank you for sharing your gifts. Goodbye. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. 
The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wives. And how much more so for fools. Havan Muvatavan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al mal I will play the rival for your heart's desire. And draw you from the shadows. Should have known you would be here, Kog. <laughs> Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa. The treasure? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. You weren't close enough to hear Skidding. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate. Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. I've taken 
fighting with the Amir of Baza back in Turkey. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern where? Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. The auction should be starting soon. <laughs> <laughs> 